man, I feel just like a rock star. Hey everyone, welcome back to the NASCAR Thunder 2004 Season 2 Career Mode. Let's play, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, about to do race 35 of 36 of Season 2 of the Career Mode. I'm going to Rockingham, North Carolina, at North Carolina Speedway for the run of the Pop Secret 400. Last race was at Phoenix, and it was a little bit better than I expected to run at Phoenix. Got 19th out of it. I mean, st I still don't want to finish that far back, but, you know, you get what you get. I'll take it. You know, it is what it is. So, uh, by the way, I... Man, I forgot to show you guys the point standings after the last race, so here they are. Not sure if it really matters showing you the point standings. Uh, Tony Stewart's definitely got this championship locked up. Unless somehow he blows an engine in um, the next two races. I don't know. But I feel like he's got this championship unlocked. Um, team management. Let me just show you what's going on if you guys saw the last video. Uh... Building chassis number 6 for 7 more races and overhauling chassis number 5 for two more races uh building engine number seven for seven more races and overhauling engine number four for two more races and then building body number seven for four more races and overhauling body number four for two more races so the overhaulings won't be complete until the beginning of season three but i'll have some good stuff by the time i head to daytona for season three uh no shop additions yet so i'm uh, yeah, there you go. So let's go right in the race. We got oh, your car is without a secondary sponsor. Really? I forgot what my secondary sponsor was. Oh, it's not finished. It has Steve Park anymore. I guess I ran out of contract. Oh, qualifying fifth, average start in fifth, average start in tenth. Wow. For the contract for a full season, too. Full 36 races. Uh, okay. I don't think I'm ready for any of these. I think my best would be is to is average start in 10th, and that's for Coca-Cola. Because there's no way I'm going to qualify in 5th place every every week. My car is not that good. See, this is the lowest uh, income and bonus and prestige Coca-Cola, but that's all I can get, honestly. I can't get any of these. So uh, I'll just go for Coca-Cola for the average start in 10th. There's no way I'm going to be able to finish <laughs> qualifying fifth or average starting fifth in every race. I'm not ready for that because what? Let me look at my my stats and look at that right now. Wait, let me check out the sponsors again. See, look, I got average finish at 20th, average start in 10th, rank 10th in earnings. Oh, I didn't really check rank in earnings. So watch, let me show you guys. I'm sub By the way, I'm still 18th in points. Not too far back behind. Well, not too far back behind Bill Elliott. So let let me show you here. Average start, 21st. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. That's not going to be good. Hopefully, that, that contract will... St we'll see by next season. Then average finish, 18th. By the way, what's my earnings? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me check out if I'm top 10 in earnings. 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, nine, 10th. Wow, I am ranking 10th in earnings. Wow. Not by much over uh, Jimmy Johnson. That's surprising, honestly. Let's go right in the race weekend. Let's get just get this race going. So I'm going to go with uh, chassis number four. Engine number six. And body number six. As a car rate of 66, I believe that might be the highest. I don't remember if I've hit 66 before. I think I have. No, you know what? I've had before. Uh, but that's good. So I'm looking forward to see how Rockingham goes. Let me get on the qualifying and see where I'll start. Off to number four. I'm kind of screwing up this lap. 31st on the first lap, 2393. Yeah, it's barely up. faster than this in the second lap of 26. Oh my god. I could have probably ran a bare qualifying lap. Had ha. Huh. I screwed up turn one bad. Oh my god. All right, 26. Not what I expected. Average start in 10th place. Am I right? No, not gonna happen. Let's get right on into the race. We're live from the North Carolina Speedway, otherwise known as the Rock, side of today's NASCAR race, the Pop Secret 400, right here on MRN. What can you tell us about this track, Barney? Well, this track is deceiving to drivers who are new here. It's wide and fast in most places, but in the corners, they'll have to slow up more than they expect. Otherwise, the wall will sneak up and bite them on the exit, especially in turn two. Jeremy Mayfield changed teams after the 2001 season, ending a four-year tenure with Roger Penske. A lot of people, Ray Evernham included, believe Mayfield still has a lot of untapped potential. 
He certainly has shown flashes of brilliance in the past. Maybe he can put that number 19 Dodge in victory lane today. The 82 car will carry the same sponsorship after signing a new deal this week. They've built an incredible relationship with their sponsor so far. In fact, I expect that deal to continue for a long, long time to come. David Green seems to always have to start toward the back at these speedway tracks. And let me tell you how frustrating that is to a driver. Starting in the back of the pack all the time is kind of like only being able to drive at rush hour. You know where you want to be, but that car in front or beside of you is always in your way. The engines have fired and the cars are rolling off the road here at North Carolina Speedway. Jeff Gordon and Michael Waltrip on the front row. Let's get this race here. Rockingham underway. complete the first lap. I'm kind of stuck on the outside lane. I don't want to be here. I want to try to get to the bottom lane front, Jack Sprague. I do. So we'll see if I can make any improvements on the bottom lane. Oh gosh, this car is a little bit tight off the corner. Oh, Joe Nemechek! Oh my goodness. That was, uh... Really intense right there. Come on, car. Wow, that was uh, really exciting there for a little bit. Oh my goodness, this car is pushing. Oh, I do not like when the car pushes. Although it could be me too, I don't know. Holy crap, hey, Mike Skinner, how you doing? Come on, come on, car, turn. Oh my gosh, car, please. Do not. Man, I tell you what, I gained a lot on these guys going into the first corner. Oh, wow, okay. Right in to the corner. Yeah, like, um... Cars... Oh, come on, Jerry Nadu! Oh my gosh, he was trying to get around Jeremy Mayfield, and of course that screwed up myself. Yeah, definitely a lot of gains going into turn number one. I just gain a lot on these guys. That's that's what's gonna be my key. Wow, don't tell me Hermes Sadler is gonna be faster than me. That that would not be good. <laughs> I would not want that. Oh my gosh, please. It's loose going in, tight coming off. Same thing that happened at Phoenix. It didn't get loose that time. Man. Oh my gosh, loose. Hate the entry. And tight coming off, like I said. Yeah, turn one and two has not been the best corner for me so far. Well, in terms of getting through the corner, I mean, the entry of turn one is where I'm gaining a lot on these guys. It's probably my problem, too, that they're breaking 
early. Oh, Sadler High. I'm sorry. Okay, well, in the top 20. I'm gaining on these guys now. Which is good. So average finish in 20th. Trying to keep that up. 18.9 is my average finish right now. Caught it or Burton. And the rest, a few other guys. Kenny Wallace, Jeff Burton. Brian Newman is up there. Oh my goodness, don't go down there. Oh, okay. So I've passed eight cars since the drop of the green flies. Not too bad, but... Somehow, I mean, with a bad handling race car, it gets in their bad combo. Tight and loose. See, loose going in. It's going to be tight coming off. Well, I'm still getting by these guys pretty good. Remember, uh, my my one of my sponsor objectives is not to finish ahead of Steve Park anymore. Which is a shame. I was gaining a lot of money on that part. Damn, how did I pass like three cars in that corner? I'm about to pass more right now. I'm up to... Oh, shit! Not magnetized cars! Son of a bitch! I hate when that happens! And now they're three wide up... Damn it, you motherfucker! God, I hate... That's what I hate about this game. I was about to get by Mark Mar for 13th. Like, I was gaining a lot there in that lap. Oh, my gosh. It's so frustrating, man. I mean, it could be my fault. Don't get me wrong. But... That's, I mean, I'm not frustrated at the fact that maybe I overdrove the corner and got in the Mark Martin. What I'm frustrated about is that these cars are like magnets when you make contact with them. You can't get off of them. Same thing happened at Charlotte when me and Junior was battling for third. Same thing happened. So ridiculous how this game works with that. It shouldn't be that way. Oh my gosh. Cars are hanging down pit row right now. I'm gonna wait next lap. Yeah. Hopefully, I have a good pit stop. Oh, wow. Wow. Get to the bomb. Get to the bomb. Get to the bomb. The 32 car is up high. Oh, wow, I thought I was going to speed. Alright, whatever. Um, I'm not going to even make any adjustments to the car. I don't want to make it worse. Let's just have a good pit stop, please. That's all I want. Second faster, 16.1 there. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Watch the guys on the track. They're on both sides. Woo! Slid coming back up the track. Okay, we're clear. Oh, wow. Please get out of our way. Oh, yeah, some of these guys are not pretty. Oh, oh, wow, wow. Gained a lot more bread. I thought I was going to smash into the back of them. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I thought I was going to smash in the back of them. Oh my 
gosh, car. Come on. More cars heading down pit road now. I'm in the top 25 now. Oh, I'm down here. Down here, Warburn. Oh, wow! Jeez, the car is so tight off the corner. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. Uh, now I got both the Burton brothers. I, mean, I feel like Jeff Burton's going to get around me since he just came off pit road. He's going to have the fresher tires than me. Alright, back in the top 20. Just exactly where I want. I'm going to be in the top 15, actually. I guarantee you a couple cars are going to get by me, though, because of the fresh tires. We'll see. I, I got cars ahead of me. Maybe, guys, maybe if I chase down these guys that are ahead of me right now, maybe a top 10 is possible. Oh, well, there's Mark Martin. He just finally came off pit road. And he's my rival now. If he ever catches me, I got to be careful with him. I made him mad, but there's a magnet cars. Sooner or later, Jeff Burton's gonna get around me, though. Oh, someone's blown up. That's Bill Elliott. He's not for precision. Oh, and that's... You know what? That's going to help me get to 17th in points, too. Because Bill Elliott, I believe, was just... Uh, 27 points ahead of me for 17th in points. So with him blowing up, that's going to help me a lot to get to 17th in points. Season 1, I finished up 32nd in points. Could, uh, do a lot better compared to season one and the season two. Catching Sterling Marlin. I'm surprised Jeff Burton hasn't been able to get around me, honestly. Got Sterling Marlin, Ryan Newman. That's Johnny Benson up there. Rusty Wallace is up there. Got around Sterling Marlin for 13th careful. police car turn. Man, this car is tight on exit. I feel like I could get up to those guys, maybe get a top 10 finish, guys. That would be a lot better than I expected, too, considering I qualified 26 for this race. Be a good deal for me if I finish in the top 10. Could happen, we'll see. Jeff Burton, I, sooner or later, he might get around me. He's just hanging right there with me. I'm surprised he has a guy around me sooner. Ten laps to go to pass these three guys to get in the top ten. Rusty Wallace, Johnny Benson, Ryan Newman. Oh, man. Okay. I'm so worried about getting off turn two every lap. Because, uh, man, I get tight there on exit. Hello, Newman. Around him for 12, now trying to get around Giant Benson for 11th, maybe? And I remember in Season 1 that he was one of my sponsor objectives was finish ahead of Giant Benson. I think it was Giant Benson, was it? Oh, shit! Well, there goes uh, maybe a top 10 right there since Jeff Burton got around me. I'm still trying to get around Ryan Newman. Oh, fuck! Oh, my gosh! And they magnetized that time, thank God. No, Jeff Burton, please come here. <laughs> Actually, Rusty Wallace is beginning to pull away, too, which that's not good either. I don't want that to happen either. That's about 10 seconds on you. I'm not worried about the leaders right now. I'm worried about trying to get a top 10. Man, Jeff Burton, no. I want... To get by you. I want to stay ahead of you too. Still beside you. Oh man. The 99 car oh my away. goodness. Oh, okay. uh, you got on the wall just a little bit. 
Is that Kevin Grubb ahead of Rusty Wallace? Kevin Grubb, just hold him up. That would be awesome, actually. I'm in 11th. I'm in double first, guys. Double first is better than actual first. Oh, Rusty Wallace is going to get by Kevin Grubb. Never mind. Kevin Grubb, you suck. I uh, don't know if I'm going to get to uh, Rusty Wallace, guys. Five to go. I'm pulling away from Jeff Burton now. I think his fresh tires are starting to go away too. Well, actually, Kevin Grubb, if I get by you, can you hold up the guys behind me? Like Jeff Burton, because he's still right there with me. Oh, wow! I didn't expect him to break that much. I'm even surprised I made the corner. <laughs> Ah, oh, Rusty, why do you gotta pull away from me? Ah, I'm so close getting a top 10. I'm actually, I gained on him here. Three to go. Oh my god, I'm gaining on him. Stan Barrett, hold him up! Hold him up! Alright, well. Why do you guys have to be so nice? Oh, man, that right front tire really won, but I'm catching Rusty. I don't think I'm going to get... I don't think it's going to be enough, though. Two laps to go. I don't know, guys. I don't think I'm going to get to Rusty. So that's going to suck, because I'm close to the top ten. Mike Skinner, hold him up. Oh my god, I'm right up behind him. Oh, I might scare you not doing me a favor. Alright, cool. Should I just bump Rusty out of the way? If I could get to him, I'm not going to get to him. Damn it! I'm so close to a top 10 finish here! Oh! Damn! If I had a couple more laps, maybe. Uh, you know, 11th is good, too. I mean, and Tony Stewart wins. Pfft, no surprise. That's like Tony Stewart's 10th win this season, I believe. Not a single call. Oh, I was so close to Rusty. Damn it. Oh, if I had a couple more laps, maybe I had an opportunity of getting in the top 10. Uh, it's kind of all right with the sponsor income. Well, that's what it is. Oh, so close. Oh, GG. Oh, well. <laughs> this is what it is. Um, so, I guarantee you now I'm 17th in points for sure. So, even if Tony Stewart blows an engine at Homestead, it doesn't matter. He's already got the championship. 355 points. His 10th win the season. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty good for him. Yep, 17th in points now. I got ahead of... Uh, uh, no way I'm going to catch Michael Waltrip in points, so I guess 17th, guys, is where I'm probably going to finish in the point standings, most likely. Let me go into team management see what's going on here. Garage, uh, building chassis number 6 for 6 more races, overhauling chassis number 5 for 1 more race. Um, building, uh, engine number 7 for 6 more races, and overhauling engine number 4 for 1 more race. And then building body number 7 for 3 more races and overhauling body number 4 for 1 more race. So yeah, the overhauling will be done by the time we head into Daytona. So, um, next race, guys, is going to be the season finale of Season 2 of the Career Mode of NASCAR Thunder 2004. It's going to be at Homestead Miami Speedway for the Ford 400. So I will see you guys at Homestead Miami Speedway.